Hello guys, it's Rob Marenke here. Hope you're doing very well. Today's video is five tips on how to help you. But before we get into that, please help me <laughs> with my tragically fragile ego by subscribing to the channel, pushing the bell, bell icon, because subscribing is redundant if you don't push the bell icon on a YouTube channel, uh, which makes sense. And please like it. Even if you don't like it, press that button because you know you want to help the algorithm. Anyway, tip one, allow them to be who they are. Okay, uh, I found with teaching that much easier in a one-on-one -on -one situation, but a kid's being hostile or angry or aggressive. If you rise to that and, and become angry or hostile or aggressive yourself, same applies to adults, it's fuel to the fire and it's gonna explode. You double the impact speed, like two cars hitting at 70 miles per hour or kilometers per hour, it's, the force is 140. Um, so I would recommend Carl Rogers on this, He's got an excellent book called On Personal Power, which is not a self-help book and is not cheesy. I know it sounds like it is. So, tip two. I almost did a three, which means I can't count to two. Don't confirm any very serious doom and gloom narrative they have in their head. When, I've, I've mentioned this before on the channel, but when my derealization symptoms hit, like a freight train uh, about five years ago, uh, the best response I ever got when I was telling people was from a brilliant osteopath uh, called Paul Kite at Nature Works on Bond Street in London. I would highly recommend him to anyone suffering from anything. He's, he's amazing. He, he, I told him I was feeling really out of it and, and horrible. He, he graciously, somehow politely and nicely chuckled without, not, not at me and said, at least you don't have to go out and buy drinks. Okay, <laughs> tip three. Uh, listen very intently to people. As has been said, the greatest gift you can give to people is your attention and your presence and your awareness, you know? Um, and that doesn't involve throwing solutions at people, um, just listening. And you know yourself, when you're talking to someone who's actually listening, how different that is to talking to someone who isn't listening. Okay, tip four, a kind text or WhatsApp or Facebook message or whatever your particular mode is <laughs> uh, can go a very, very long way. Um, especially when the timing's right, but even when it's not right. and. Maybe the timing is right more often than you, than you know. You, you say to someone you haven't spoken to in years, maybe. Oh, I always respected the way you um, were nice to people at school. Or you, you say to a friend, I, I admire your uh, patience and a, a bit ability to calmly philosophize. Or you say to someone, look, man, I always liked going to clubs with you because you're a really good fighter and you've got it integrated with your character so you're not a, a thug you but you're like a you're a a, re, a truly good person now it's how to fight that doesn't until they see evil which is why pacifism is evil because it says don't fight evil <laughs> okay number four five <laughs> number five if they've made a mistake tell them as oscar wilde put it uh rob Marenghi can't count to five and it also said a true friend stabs you in the front uh, again, easier said than done because you might incur that person's displeasure for a day or two or a year or two or a decade or two. But when I think back on my own life, um, <laughs> the most progress has been made when someone has pointed out what I'm doing wrong. I may not want to hear it, but they may be right. And if a lot of people are thinking it, but are too polite to say it, um, you can kill someone with kindness, then I'm misguided and I'm going off course, uh, veering. Um, and that's it guys, five tips for making people happier. Please share this video around, write something in the comments about how ridiculous this is or how profound this is, and no doubt I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.